Hello. Tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, current status of my 90-gallon uh, uh, saltwater reef tank and uh, one of the reasons why it's taken me so long and, and what the updates and the upgrades are at this point. Um, really, right now I'm still in limbo. Um, the problem that I've run into is that I added a male Melanaris wrasse back in December. Uh, I was hoping to add it to my young uh, juvenile wrasse and uh, hopefully make a male and female couple since wrasses can switch genders um, and be able to uh, have a mated pair uh, and just have some really great color and activity going on in my tank. Um, unfortunately that didn't pan out. What ended up happening was within a week of putting him in the tank um, he ended up developing ick and died within just a few days. He, he went fast. Um, needless to say, um, you know, things had to be quarantined just as a precaution. So my Diamond Watchman Gobi and my young Melanaris Rass are once again on their own. Um, it has, however, given me the opportunity to uh, fully cycle. Um, the other 50 pounds of rock that has uh, been going in a garbage can uh, it took longer to cycle than I thought it would, um, but I'm glad I did because I did end up getting a pneumonia and I tried spike and everything. So uh, that stuff is just about done. I'm just basically waiting for the brown algae to come in. Once that comes and goes, then uh, then I will put it in my 90-gallon uh, tank and get the new rock work resituated, move things around a bit in there. Uh, and then the plan is to wait for a week or two and then uh, make sure everything checks out good. And then after that, I will try another RAS. Um, I might try a, uh, a Christmas RAS, the, uh, the H. Claudia. Um, it is kind of iffy just seeing how my Melanaris is going to react to that but uh, both of them would be beautiful fish to add. Um, and then after that, I'll wait for a little while, let the algae establish itself, and then maybe look at adding, you know, the coral beauty, maybe a tang. I'm also looking at, um, as an alternative, the possibility of a Klein's butterfly fly fish, but uh, the, the coral nipping on that one makes me a little bit nervous. I know that technically a dwarf angel can as well, but they're not as notorious as butterflies for that. Uh, whereas, you know, a uh, dwarf angel may nip, a uh, butterfly will just tear in and, and go to town and, and destroy the entire thing. So, um, so anyways, I'm, I'm still a bit wary on that one, but I've got some time to think about it. Um, I'm, I'm kicking around all kinds of different configurations. Um, you know, I've looked at an exquisite fairy wrasse, I've looked at the Christmas wrasse, I've looked at uh, ornate wrasses and a couple of other different varieties. Um, I've looked at, you know, a cherub fish, I've looked at a coral beauty. I'm probably leaning a little bit more towards the coral beauty at this point just because they tend to be less aggressive than the pygmy angels or cherub fish. Um, tangs, I'm, I'm considering all, you know, a whole range of different tangs um, from the coal tang to the blue eye or two spot tang, the square tail. Um, I was going to do the coal, but I'm leaning a little bit against that right now just because my. Quite frankly, my wife isn't quite as thrilled about that one. Um, and as well, um, it might be a bit big for my tank, but I am looking at maybe a convict tank just because I really love the looks of it. Um, and it's not an everyday tank that you're going to see in somebody's tank. Uh, and they tend to be more peaceful. So I was kind of looking at one of those. Um, and anyways, that's kind of where I'm at with my saltwater tank right now, which unfortunately is to say I've probably got about another four weeks of just, you know, wait and see. Um, the good news is my wrasse and my goby 
and have uh, seemed to have, you know, weathered the X storm thus far. We're about eight weeks into the kind of quarantine, and uh, the RAS did get a, something that produced um, a large white streak on its tail, but then apparently it fought it off uh, because that white streak has since disappeared. It's never developed spots on its gills, clamped its gills down. It's always been eating. So there's never been any significant uh, issues with it. I did do some of the Kent's garlic for a couple of weeks there to help build up their immune systems just as a precaution. Um, I don't know if it helped anything, but it sure didn't hurt anything. So uh, take that for what it's worth. Anyways, uh, that's where we're at with the 90 gallon upgrade and thanks for watching.